All right, guys, don't mind the glasses, but, uh, well, as you can tell by the title, here we are. The season's over. The comeback season. 17 years. 17 long years, man, it took me to get back down here and play some Littleton rugby. And we did it, man. We did it. I had a challenge. I said to myself at the start of this year, especially once arriving back here in, in, uh, in Christchurch, and uh, well that was to get get back involved with with the boys with the Littleton boys and um, God I'm so glad I did hold up oh, take those glasses off they're a bit much all right guys here we are look at this man beautiful fucking beautiful the green grass the blue sky if you look about 100 meters that way we've got the ocean honestly man Littleton is my place this is my home this is this I lived up on that hill for 19 years, guys, before I left for Australia. You know, you've met me, my YouTube channel, my YouTube audience has met me whilst I've been living in Australia. Now I'm living back home. Even just looking, to, like, this is, oh, what a place, man, what a place. If you do come to New Zealand, if you ever come to Christchurch, if you ever come to the South Island, definitely check out Littleton. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's got its own, it's, it's got its own little vibe. It's its own you know, basically enclosed sort of community, you know what I mean? And, you know, what a place to grow up. And, and, and whilst being around this rugby team this year, once again, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've definitely bumped into a few familiar faces and I've, I've gone to a few familiar venues and it's all just come back to me, man. It, it, it's, it's been amazing. I, I'm struggling to put it into words, actually, how I'm feeling, um, as you can tell. And I, I really don't know if I can put it into words. So I tried to put it into words after that first game. You know, that vlog's had about nine or 10,000 views now and, and I feel like the emotion came through and that emotion I've felt through this whole entire season. But I didn't play the whole season. And I guess that's what we're gonna discuss. We're gonna discuss, you know, this, how it played out. I mean, the team, at the end of the day, guys, we made it. We made it into the final. Littleton made it into the Canterbury Metro Division 2 Rugby Final, which was played last week. Unfortunately, we didn't get the job done, but we were close. You know, my, <laughs> to be honest, this is like the fifth video I've made today. Um, I've gone around a few different locations in Christchurch and talked about a few different things that I've been doing in my life recently. This is one of the last videos I'm going to make for the day. Um, I'm feeling a little bit uh, mentally fatigued right now, but we're going to do it. You know, I knew there was a reason why I prepared myself for this talk. And I, I wrote down a few different things and, and I'm just going to run through them. Okay, these are some thoughts about uh, the season, about my performance, my participation in the season, and uh, what's, what's next. So, basically, the season as a whole was affected by COVID, right? The thing that got me back on board was a week before the season was meant to start, I saw an advertisement on the Facebook page saying that there was free subs. This was the only club in Christchurch that had free subs, which meant, you know, you don't have to pay registration fees. So I saw that and I thought, well, look, is that God reaching out to me or what? I don't even have to pay to play. I'm definitely going down. And that's what I did. So I went down the next week, got involved with the team and found out that the season starts that weekend. So I joined the team literally the week before the season started. You know, I came down to the training on Tuesday, Thursday, and lo and behold, I managed to get a starting spot that week. I didn't know at the time, but that's because probably three or four backs that played every single week were actually injured at that point. So they started the season with a few numbers down, and you know, lo and behold, I came into the team at the right time, managed to get my starting spot, and I actually started for the first four games against Belfast, Shirley, high school old boys who we played in the final and Linwood. So I started the first four games of the season. I was fucking right into it, right? Then I realized that, you know, I was probably gonna have to call it quits for a period of time around my bodybuilding show because, you know, the demands of that physically and mentally were just too much. I could not focus enough on rugby and be a, enough of a part of the team to make it worthwhile it, it was three you know rugby rugby is a commitment man it's it's a it's not a hugely long season as far as the games played 
But as far as the pre-season, you know, leading up to the season and throughout the season, you've got three days of the week that you are committed to the team. You've got Tuesday, Thursday training and Saturday game. And for a period of four or five weeks there, that was just way too much. So I had to call it quits. So unfortunately, you know, I played the first four games. The next game was against Sydney. I was named on the bench, but I didn't make it on. And the next game after that was against Lin uh, Lincoln. And I was named on the bench for that game and I didn't make it on. So those two games, I was named on the bench. I suited up, I trained, you know, had all the anxiety, the game day anxiety that comes with it, yet I didn't play. And I thought, you know what, man, I can't let this happen again because it's really affecting my life. It's taking a lot of energy um, away from me and away from other things that I've got going on in my life right now. So after that game where I didn't make it on for the second time, I finally pulled the pin. I talked to the coach. I said, look, you know, with everything else I've got going on, it's just too much. And, um, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to give my position up for the next four or five weeks. So basically I said, look, I'm, I'm not going to be able to play anymore. I said, good luck for the season. I'll make it down when I can, but that's it. And that was it. And to be honest, ever since I made that decision for the next four or five weeks, I was happy because my mindset was freed up. I had time to think about things and, um, you know, everything improved in my life. So I forgot about rugby for four weeks, right in the middle of the season. And then I completed my, my bodybuilding show. Um, that was at the end of August. And I thought, you know what, man? I think it might be about time to head back down to rugby training. And that's exactly what I did. So, <laughs> I didn't actually realize, but that week, I went down to the Tuesday, Thursday training. That week, we'd made it into the semi-finals. And it seemed as if, you know, God was on my side once again. I'd come back right at the right time. There's a couple of injuries. They needed some numbers. I managed to get my name back on the team sheet for the semi-final. Cheeky as fuck. Cheeky as fuck, coming right at the last second and get on the team for the semi. Lo and behold, you know, I'm, I'm coming to terms with the fact that that back line is solid, man. That is a solid back. The forward, the forward pack's fucking solid. The back line is solid as a pack. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, if something's not broke, why would you try and fix it? And that's exactly what happened again in this game. So I didn't get on. I was named on the bench, utility back, could have gone on anywhere. They even said, look, if, you, if I need you to go on the forwards, would you do it? I said, yes, of course, I'm just happy to be here. At the end of the day, I didn't actually get on. Um, but that game was played right here against Burnside. We had a good win, great turnout, semi-final, played at home, fantastic moment to be involved in. Even though I didn't play, it's fine. Then we move on to last week, which was the final. We played at High School Old Boys, which is at Hagley Park, through the tunnel. And, um, well this week, I went to the trainings, Tuesday, Thursday, all good to go, amped for the game. Unfortunately, on the Thursday, I got told that there's a fella who plays on the wing, he dislocated his shoulder three weeks ago, thought he was gonna be out for six weeks. Lo and behold, feels fine, wants to play in the final, he's going to take your spot Jacob. I said, all good. What else are you going to say? I'm just thankful to be here. Honestly, honestly I am. I'm thankful to be here. Throughout the year that we've had, um, I played those first four games, I've been involved in the team, we're in a final, I'm just like, man, you know what, at the end of the day anything can happen, there might be another injury, I'm here if you need me. I wasn't called up, but I did go and watch. And I did take some footage of the final on my camera. Following this video, I'm actually gonna put those, the couple of videos up. Most of it is ruined because of the wind, but there are two moments in that game, in the final, the thrill and the agony of sport that I've captured and I'm gonna put up on this channel following this video. The first is the try that we scored in the first half to go up. The second is right at the death in overtime. At the end of the match, we had an opportunity, we stole a line out, we had an opportunity to have a, to, to score the match winning try in the final. The same guy who scored that first try dropped the ball cold in the second moment of the match. And, um, you know, for him specifically, that is the thrill and the agony of sport. The thrill of scoring that try, the agony of being so close yet so far and um, those are moments I'll never forget and I'm glad I took my camera down so at the end of the day you get a positive out of a negative I didn't play but I was able to capture some moments and enjoy the game as a fan and as a supporter so 
wow. You know, overall, overall thoughts. Um, my performances, nah, no good. I didn't show 10% of what I'm capable of on attack. Uh, but you know what? This was always going to be interesting. It was always going to be, you know, my first season back, finding my feet within a new team environment. And I feel like I've done that pretty well. So I guess following, following on from here, it, it's my mission to stay fit, definitely stay active, work on my speed, work on my agility. Uh, work on my skills throughout the throughout the off season, and if I'm still here at the start of next year, well, I'll be cracking into the pre-season for 2021, and hopefully, you know, these restrictions will be uh, relaxed a little bit more. We can have a full season, and all the best, all the best to all the Littleton boys. I will be seeing the boys again in three weeks' time. We're going down to Queenstown uh, on a, a boys' trip. This is what they do every year. Uh, this is going to be my first trip, my first trip with these boys. I've been on, rug I've been on rugby trips before, I've been on rugby piss-ups before, but I've never been on a, a three-day bender in Queenstown <laughs> with the Littleton Dolphins, so it should be fun. Um, yeah, that's what it's all about, man. That's what rugby is about. It's about the team, it's about, it's about camaraderie, it's about working together as a team because there, no, there, are, there are no eyes in team, I'm telling you that. And if you're an I in a rugby team that works together as a team, you're definitely going to be found out. And um, you know, it's 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 not the vibe. That's not it's not the vibe, man. It's not the vibe. It used to be my vibe, trying to be the best, trying to do everything, trying to be first at everything. But it's not anymore. That ain't no that, that ain't no way to live. That ain't no way to live, man. Quietly confident. That's what I like to call it. Quietly confident. Not cocky. Confident, but quietly. Knowing that at any moment you're ready to take an opportunity and to prove yourself. And at the moment, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm going to let you guys go. Welcome once again to Littleton. This is my hometown. This is where I was born and bred. I'm so happy to be back here. So happy to have played a season of Div 2 Rugby with the Littleton Dolphins. And all the best for next year, boys. Hard luck. We lost 14-10 in the final. And, um, well, that's rugby. So, have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you on the flip side. Okay. Peace out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and play that. Set you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I take that. Ask them now, we'll save that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh.